What's up beautiful people? Today we're going to be checking out Life in Hitler's Germany. Let's get to it. Before Hitler, Germany had been deep in economic depression. Before Hitler, unemployment had stood at 7 million. Before Hitler, Germany was a democracy, but too many parties had split the vote, so governments were weak and unable to solve the crisis. Hitler offered dictatorship, all power in the hands of one man. And Germany was quick to accept Hitler's terms. Unemployment's absurd. People say, we are civilized, and yet millions of people are out of work. What is that? That's sick. No one should be denied the right to work. And neither should anyone who can work be allowed to be lazy. Work and bread. These are the Führer's blessings. Putting Germany back to work was Hitler's first and most pressing problem. But because he was all-powerful, he had the clout to carry out large-scale work programs, like building autobahns, motorways to link the nation together. By 1935, unemployment had fallen to just 2 million. Mm. From 7 million. By 1939, it was gone. It was gone. My landlord, Eric, worked for the German labor front. He had business all around Germany, and once I went with him to see what they had achieved. And it was remarkable. We saw labor camps, not for wage earners, but for young people, 18, 19 years old, to teach them the value of work, to get their hands hardened. You saw them marching along with their spades like guns, or singing as they dug ditches, reclaimed land. If you spoke to them, sometimes you felt they resented being there, but not often. There was, I think, a pleasure involved. Mm, Eric would work. say, you must understand, work shouldn't be just earning a wage and going home. That's drudgery. We believe there's a beauty in labor. You do a job well, and it gives you happiness. It was like the Nazis were shaking people into feeling good about what they did. You had to work. You had no choice. You were organized. You were there for the state to use, and they would milk you for your labor, no question. But then, at the end of the day, they said, now, see what we have achieved. And mm. it was, it was pretty impressive. It give you a sense of involvement. The work program was vast and triumphal. Hitler had promised a Germany reborn. He said he was building for a state to last for a thousand years. He'd rebuild Berlin on a magnificent scale. There'd be an assembly hall in every city, a swimming bath in every village, a house and garden and car for every worker. Much of this was pure fantasy, but enough was achieved to pump German pride. Mm. So, like, the video basically means he was doing well for the German people. When he came, he promised certain things and he was able to achieve certain things maybe like 70 percent or 60 percent of what he promised and this is probably the reason why people supported and were behind him because he said unemployment was around seven per seven million and then in a few years it was zero so he achieved that you see um i was watching a video the other time they spoke about propaganda and um, i forgot how that kind of propaganda is called but it's a certain kind of propaganda that it kind of lures you in in generality where something is so appealing and it looks fruitful and then when you get deep into it then it becomes a problem i really forgot the name of that but yeah um, maybe that was the case here let me know what you think let me let me know what you think um i just thought i should bring that one it showed up on my youtube and i thought i should bring that video here so we can see some updates on what Hitler's Germany looks like. I never seen any video besides some movie clips of like stories people try to portray, but I've never seen like a real clip like this before. I think it's my first time. Well, if you want to see more, let me know. 
um, hopefully it doesn't get too intense while we see it because this could be personal to some people um, but if you if you don't want to see it, just tell me I can delete it from the channel no problem but it's, it's history you know it's history so sometimes I think it's important that we understand that we know history that being said is the end of this video smash the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll see you on the next video have a wonderful day peace